Welcome back everybody to Ultra Law Live. Still don't have an intro yet. But I was watching a no jumper podcast uh, a couple of weeks back and I've been really try like try I really wanted to do this video back then, but I really felt like I needed some more time to really digest on this music before I jump on here. Uh weird way I got introduced uh, to this act. I was just chilling on my phone and it came up on my news feed and I saw cheeks, clapping cheeks, clapping all the time. I'm wondering who the hell is this? And then when I listened to the music, the most annoying voice I've ever heard in my life, repeatedly going ham on like so-called bars. Now, I'm actually hooked. I enjoy the music and I don't know why. <laughs> but anyway, today we're gonna be doing a PP cocaine, cocaine, PP cocaine, Three Musketeers, track review featuring next younging now if you don't know who pp cocaine pp cocaine i cannot say the name so hard. i was think it stands for pretty pink cocaine but the whole song's about basically hot chicks doing random i'm what i'm just gonna like cut cut let me just cut the, the, the review right here and just it's in just the suffering from listening to this but it's just about hot chicks in the music video with a african-american girl who looks extremely white may i say i also thought she was white until i saw the hair let <laughs> me just shut up and let's just jump into this video because there's a lot to say Let's go in this. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? Right there. If you had to see a person, I guess, walk down the street, what would you say her ethnicity is? What race is she? She looks like one of them tan bitches. That does not scream black to me, but I'll show you a photo without her hair. And then you will you will kind of see what I'm talking about. But anyway. This is a true trap house. This is a, this is like Hugh Hefner level of trap house. Ah! You know, I've watched this video like so many times coming up, like trying to make content, which is like I said, trying to digest this, and it still it still hits me like. But this is this is this is still tame compared to her other songs. You know what I mean? This is still quite tame. But uh, let's uh, let's keep going on and check out what um they do. It's like a chipmunk, like some, I don't know, she's like a raspy voice that like she's, I think she's using, I don't know. Let's keep listening to this garbage. It's Daddy Kane and his bitch, pull up to the function and she trying to get lit. Shawty talking foreign, yeah, I'm Suspenseful. Very suspenseful. You know, I'm gonna do a new thing and actually go through the comments and see what the hell's going on over here. I love reading comments. She rolled her eyes so far back, I thought she was wearing white contact. Yeah, like she got that whole witch thing like going so, like she seems like she gets angry. A uh, lot. She sounds like she can be Vicky from Fairy Godparents. Nah, I wouldn't say Vicky. I would say more like, yeah, I would say more like Timmy Turner. A quiet girl in class be listening to this <laughs> so <laughs> Oh my God. But yeah, my thoughts on this is just like, ah, I don't know. It's one of one of those videos where it's just like, um, like I would show you more of her content so you can see like how she is and all that kind of stuff. Uh, be it that she was a stripper before and that's why she has connections to get all, so many fly honeys and stuff like that on. Uh, if you want to check out her story and stuff like that, there's other YouTubers who have covered her. I'm just covering the music and stuff like that. But just saying all of this stuff is just crazy. If she was my daughter, though, I don't know. I was talking to this with a friend of mine saying the same thing. Like, if my daughter was, like, extremely hot and uh, she's getting gang views on, like, YouTube and stuff like that, she's shaking her ass like that, uh, would I stop it or would I continue it? Put in the comment section below, would you stop your daughter or would you help her? Um, push her music. Me personally, I'll help her push it because this is a it's a way to make money. You just gotta do it be in a way that do it in a way that I'm there and I can see what's going on and uh, I can kind of guide it so it doesn't get too out of hand and everything like that. But PP Cocaine, what are your thoughts? Do you think that she should continue making music or she should uh, put on more clothes or something like that? But uh, yeah, that's my um, opinion on PP Cocaine. Guys, if you enjoy music like this, or if you enjoy reactions, anything like that, please do hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to remind you a second time to smash that like and subscribe button. And I'll check you out in the next episode. Peace.